Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. Today in this video, we are going to solve one very interesting quadratic challenge. It is x minus 1 whole power 4 plus x plus 1 whole power 4 plus x plus 3 whole power 4 plus x plus 5 whole power 4 equal to 10 square plus 8 square. We have to find out all four solutions. So let's get started with our substitution. If you will notice, this is minus 1 plus 1 plus 3 plus 5. So middle point if you will search it will be 2. So I will consider our substitution x plus 2 equal to t. Now I will calculate the four brackets x minus 1, x plus 1, x plus 3, x plus 5 in terms of t. So x minus 1 then I need to take away 3 from both sides. So this way we can write here it is t minus 3. x plus 1, t minus 1. x plus 3, t plus 1. And x plus 5 we can write t plus 3. Now I will convert our equation in variable t. So our equation will convert into. So I will write here t minus 3 whole 4. Then it would be t minus 1 whole power 4. Then third term I will write t plus 1 whole power 4. And four bracket I will write t plus 3 whole power 4. And right hand side this value will be 100 plus 64. So I will be writing here 164. Now I will club two brackets, these two all together and then I will consider the second and third bracket all together for our binomial expansion. So let us consider our expansion here. I will write t minus 3 whole power 4 plus t plus 3 whole power 4, first and fourth term. Then middle two terms I will write t minus 1 whole power 4 plus t plus 1 whole power 4 equal to 164. Now I will write Pascal triangle to, to calculate the values of coefficients for our expansion. So power is 4. So I will draw the triangle 1 1 1. For power 2 it is 1 2 1. For power 3, it is 1, 3, 3, 1. And for power 4, which is required here, 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. Here we are having coefficients for expansion. Now I will write the two expansions first. t plus 3 whole power 4. And then we will be writing t minus 3 by changing its sign. So let me write here expansion of t plus 3 whole power 4. Coefficients are 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. Let us expand. So for coefficient 1, I will be writing t power 4 as first term. Plus coefficient 4, I will write 4t cube times 3. For coefficient 6, I will be writing 6 times t square times 3 square. For coefficient 4, I will write 4t and then I will be writing 3 cube and for last term, I will be writing 3 power 4. Now, if you will change the sign in between, means I am looking for t minus 3 whole power 4, then it is going to impact in the odd power of 3 term. So here in the alternate terms we will get minus sign. So once I am calculating this value then these two plus minus term will be cancelled out. So I will get only twice of t power 4 plus 60 square 3 square plus 3 power 4. Similarly I will write here let me write this value t minus 3 whole power 4 plus t plus 3 whole power 4 this value will become 2 times t power 4 
plus 9 times 6, so 54 t square plus 3 power 4, 81. This is our first two term value. Now let us calculate the remaining two values, two terms values basically t minus 1 and t plus 1 whole power 4. So let me write here what is the value of t plus 1 whole power 4. This expansion will be very easy t power 4 the very first term. Then for multiplier 4 I will be writing 4t cube. Second term is 1 so there won't be anything except 1. Third term I will write 6t square. Fourth term I will write 4t. And last term I will write plus 1. Now once I will change the sign in between means I am talking about t minus 1 whole power 4 expansion. It is going to change the sign of 4t cube and 4t. Once I will calculate t plus 1 whole power 4 plus t minus 1 whole power 4. These two will be cancelled out. So what is left? 2 times t power 4 plus 6t square plus 1. Now you can see we will be having our equation like this. Now let us put all the values here in the equation and right hand side is 164. So I can write our equation as 2 times in bracket t power 4 plus 54t square plus 81 and in second bracket I will be writing 2 times t power 4 plus 60 square plus 1 and right hand side is 164. Now we have to only simplify LHS first. So I will be writing here 2t power 4 plus 54 times 2 t square plus 2 times 81, 162, plus 2t power 4, plus 12t square, plus 2 times 1, 2, 164. Now I will cancel 162 plus 2, 164, right hand side is 164. Here we are having 2t power 4, 2t power 4. So I can write 4t power 4 plus 54 times 208t square. Then we are having 12t square. Then right hand side is 0. So I can write 40 power 4 plus 108 plus 12, 120t square equal to 0. I can divide this equation with 4. So I will be writing t power 4 plus 30t square equal to 0. I can take t square common. So it would be t square plus 30. Right hand side is 0. Now remember what was t? t was our substitution x plus 2. So I can write from here either t square will be equal to 0 or the second bracket t square plus 30 will be equal to 0. Now we have to solve this and our substitution is t is equal to x plus 2. Let's check. So I will write here t square is equal to 0. So I will write here x plus 2 whole square is equal to 0. So from here I will write x is equal to minus 2 and minus 2. Repetitive roots, so I can write x is equal to minus 2 with multiplicity 2 or minus 2 and minus 2. Now I will write second equation. It was t square plus 30 equal to 0. So I can write this equation as t square is equal to minus 30. A square is negative, so obviously complex solution will come. So we know that i is equal to square root of minus 1 or i square is equal to 
minus 1. So I can write here 30 i square. Now consider square root both sides. So t will be equal to plus minus i times root 30. Now let's put the value of t. t was x plus 2. So I will write here x plus 2 equal to plus minus i times root 30. Take away 2 from both sides. x will be equal to minus 2 plus minus i times root 30. Solutions are complex. So two real solutions and two complex solutions we are having. I will verify only real value. Let's check. So I will check our solution x is equal to negative 2. So I will put in the first bracket x is equal to minus 2. So minus 2 minus 1 minus 3 raised to the power 4 plus here I will put minus 2 then minus 2 plus 1 minus 1 raised to the power 4. Then I will write 1 raised to the power 4. Then I will write 3 raised to the power 4. Now power is even. So I can write it is 3 power 4. 3 power 4 is 81. Plus. Again I will write 1. 1. 81. So it is 162 plus 2. So it is coming out 164. Our right hand side is also 164. Both sides are equal. So that means this solution is true and verified. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck and take care of yourself. Bye-bye.